Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for March 15th. The scripture states, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. Mark chapter 10, verses 14 and 15. Christ is today the same compassionate Savior as when he walked among men. He is as verily the helper of mothers now as when he gathered the little ones in his arms in Judea. The children of our earth are as much the purchase of his blood as were the children of long ago. When Jesus told the disciples not to forbid the children to come to him, he was speaking to his followers in all ages to officers of the church, ministers, helpers, and all Christians. Jesus is drawing the children, and he bids us suffer them to come, as if he would say, they will come if you do not hinder them. Let not your unchristlike character misrepresent Jesus. Do not keep the little ones away from him by your coldness and harshness, Never give them cause to feel that heaven would not be a pleasant place to them if you were there. Do not give them the false impression that the religion of Christ is a religion of gloom, and that in coming to the Savior, they must give up all that makes life joyful. As the Holy Spirit moves upon the hearts of the children, cooperate with His work. Teach them that the Savior is calling them, that nothing can afford him greater joy than for them to give themselves to him in the bloom and freshness of their years. The Savior regards with infinite tenderness the souls whom he has purchased with his blood. They are the claim of his love. He looks upon them with unutterable longing. Let us pray. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Jesus, take this heart of mine, make it pure and holy thine. On the cross you died for me, I will love and live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your Bible that tells us how much Jesus loves us. Thank you, Lord for our children. Thank you for children in general. Thank you for the love that you have expressed to each and everyone. I pray, Heavenly Father, that we would pay attention to the words in this song and the words in your devotion. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for life. Thank you for who you are, who you have been in the past, and who you will continue to be throughout eternity. Something that really struck me as I was reading the devotion when it says, let not your unchristlike character misrepresent Jesus. 
And, you know, we don't think of that often, I believe, when it comes to children. We may think about that as to how do we look to other adult Christians or, you know, how do we look to the pastor or to this person or people in the the community. But I don't think we pay attention to how our characters affect little children. And then it said, do not keep the little ones away from him by your coldness and harshness. It's sad that we don't think often about how little children how children in general see us. Sometimes we just push them aside. You know, they're, they're not real, so to speak, because they're still just children. Their thoughts and their opinions don't matter. Um, growing up, and I still hear people say it, that children should be seen and not heard. Hmm. Hmm. Lord, help us to be mindful of the things that that we do, the traditions that we have, the behaviors that we follow from our parents, grandparents. Help us to not allow tradition to dictate how we live, but help us to live according to your word, according to your testimonies, according to the impression of your Holy Spirit. And then the other sentence says, never give them cause to feel that heaven would not be a pleasant place to them if you were there. Can you just imagine that a child would not want to go to heaven because I was going to be there or you, whoever is listening, was going to be there. I mean, when we really think deep about it, if we were so unpleasant that the child wouldn't want to be there because we were going to be there, then that pretty much means we wouldn't actually make it there. But what would the child know? The child would think, you know, well, this person goes to church and this person reads the Bible and this person sings song about God and this person talks about God, so they're definitely going to heaven. But, you know, this person also ignores me and yells at me and, you know, it's not, loving and this person you know so I don't I don't want to be I don't want to be in heaven if that person is going to be there have mercy Lord help us to take time to really reflect on these devotional words that you have given us help us really and truly not to give a false picture of who Christ is. Help us to understand that children need happy and loving and joyful environments. Children need to be protected but also feel protected, to be loved but also feel loved. Hugs are important. Kind words are important. Encouragement is important. Oh, Father, help us to know that as Christians, we are to be transformed. Transformed. 
you know, the thought of a house came to mind, like, because sometimes people buy old houses and then they gut the whole place and just do a whole different thing because what was there before wasn't good. It wouldn't last. And so, Father, I pray that we will understand that we need to be gutted out. That self, the old self, needs to be removed completely. And that your Holy Spirit will put his fruit into our minds and hearts. So that we will be more loving, more understanding, more forgiving, more joyful. So that children would love to be in our presence. They would love to be around us. And it doesn't mean that we allow children to get away with things and we allow them to do whatever they want to do. No, because your word has says to train up a child in the way that she ought to be, the way he ought to be. We're to train our children and other children according to your will and to your way. But that training is not harsh. Everything that you do is out of love, dear Lord. Help us to be the same way. Help us, dear Lord, I pray. Help us, please, to be about your business. Help us to represent Christ the proper way. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for transformation of mind and heart because you want that for each and every one of us. Help us, please, not to stand in your way. Cleanse us, please. Forgive us of our unchristlike character. Forgive us of our harshness, our coldness. Forgive us that we have misrepresented Christ to children. Help us to pray and study your word. Help us, dear Lord, to ask for your Holy Spirit every day. Help us to love, to surrender to you. Help us to serve you and to serve others, dear Lord. Help us to understand that those that represent Christ is who will be living with Christ for eternity. Help us, wake us up. May your will be done in our lives, I pray with thanksgiving. Thank you for your love and your patience. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen.